beginning of a new year encourages us to think about our resolutions, hopes, and predictions for 2024. Gelliland's Jordan DeSmet takes us to Falls Park to hear from a few people who hope to make the year ahead a memorable one. Despite the brisk temperatures this morning, people still came out to Falls Park to ponder what they would like to accomplish this year. I think just generally what I look for for this coming year would be um, just to be more connected with what matters instead of just going through the, pat the pattern of you know, working and, and being caught up in the rat race, so to speak. Just to show the kids that, you know, there's other things that are more important than just working your life away and, you know, really spending time with family and friends and doing more stuff together and getting closer to one another is, you know, more important than a lot of the other, you know, gimmicky things we got going on in life. Of course, we need to have some fun too. Backflips and skateboarding and uh, spending more time with my family and having fun with family. The beginning of a new year is also a good time to reflect on the lessons we learned in 2023. I think if anything, 2023 taught me to take my time, to actually take the time to listen to the people you care about and, and uh, respond with your heart instead of your mind. And hopes are high for the new year. Seeing what, what it brings as, you know, getting closer with the kids and family and what, what little adventures we can get into, kind of like this. In Sioux Falls. Happy New Year. Jordan DeSmith, Kelloland News. And some of the people Jordan spoke with are taking a more global approach to 2024, saying they're hoping to see more peaceful resolutions in trouble spots around the world.